Hey guys, we're recording. My voice is so bad right now. We're heading down to the Maverick Center. We're gonna be speaking in front of 7,000 people, which is crazy because my voice is gone. Why is it gone? Well, because we went to this party last night. So I'm gonna be speaking today about creative finance and what's possible. I'm actually opening up for Eric Thomas, which is like a lifelong goal. Follow us along today. You're gonna to see everybody we meet. You're gonna hear all my conversations. Let's have a little bit of fun. Wow. Hi, Dada. Do you hear that, Mooper? Hi, Mooper. Hi, Monday. I love you. Say hi. hi. Say hi to Eric. Hi, girls. Hi. Are you doing a dance for me? Uh -huh. All right. I love you. Bye. If you don't have a scar on your face, are you really head of security? That's like picture perfect. So awesome. How'd I go? Did you come here late last night? Yes, I sure did. I'm wow. sorry. First thing this morning. How do you like it? It's yeah. insane. It's insane, right? Insane. The coolest I've ever seen. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're amazing. Thanks, bro. Good to see you. I see your credentials. All right, you can come in. Did you get some chicken nuggets last night? I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up? Good to see you, man. Good, good, really Tony Fino, What's oh up, my man? gosh, bro. You? huge fan. Oh, thank you, nice to meet you. Just so you know, I can beat him in golf. We did, uh -huh. we did play a match. I beat him in match play, I had a ricochet off a roof, landed in the fairway, I birdied and I picked up like five points. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, did Tony Fino like enter my body in the last five minutes? Bro, good to see you. Steve fed you guys chicken nuggets? Uh, he did. Okay, good, he air fried them. ask me all the time, who's the best person to go to for training for real estate investing? I know it's you, but I don't know where to send them. Like, it's not to you directly. They're like, I'm getting into real estate investing. Who's the best person? I always say, Pace Morby, check him out. I need something to send them. Yeah, I'll give you a link. That's what I need. I literally have a guy right now. He's like, dude, I'm going heavy into real estate. No idea where to start. And I'm like, Pace Morby's the guy, but I don't know what else to do for me. Yeah, yeah, I'll send you a link. Cool. Real estate's awesome. Like, people are like, do you miss it? And I'm like, I don't. So that says something, you know? Well, yeah, you got to follow your passion. You, you want to wake up and do what you want to do. Exactly. I think I enjoy hating real estate. I'm not in the agent space. Right. So I'm lucky I don't deal with buyers and sellers. Yep. And so you remove that from the That's equation true. and I get to just own my stuff or create. It's still a grind in the sense of like, you're always looking for more and building your team. Like for example, I'm like, man, we got an extra 20 grand in cash flow this month. And then my team is like, we need to hire a asset manager that's gonna cost 20 grand a month. I'm like, <laughs> when I first started, it was like a bunch of chunks of money from wholesaling and also from fixing and flipping. Yep. But now it's a lot of cash flow that comes in every month. But the problem is in order for me to not be involved, it requires like 30 employees, right. not just an asset manager, but then I've got three other asset managers under them. And one of them has to be a traveling asset manager. So she's on the road all the time. I pay good money, yeah, really good yeah. money. And then you got multiple people underneath them, and then you got acquisition people and disposition people and da-da-da-da. Dude, I just got nine fourplexes without putting any money into it. Are these the uh, uh, Park City ones? They're just in Utah and Provo. This dude was selling his neighbor. Dude, I got them for 580 a pop, fourplexes. Like, you stole those. They, they sell right now for 800. One of the guys I coach, he's like, you want to do this deal with me? I looked at him like, hell yeah. I Seller think. finance deal? No, we're getting a loan, but he's getting a loan, my partner. Okay, cool. We're both putting 500 down, but we get it back when we refine. Because yeah, it. since you talked to us in the November, that was my goal this year was to get a hundred. See dollars. that that in my mind, what I used to think was the way to get into real estate was that put money in and then pull it out. But then your money's tied up for that whole time, right? So what I'll talk about today is like how I buy a property where I don't have to put any money in. Yeah. Then that way I don't have to really pull it out. But when I do pull it out, every seven years. 
I do a $40 million refinance tax-free. I get to go do other things with it, and I keep the real estate. And then the tenants pay it down, goes back up. Seven more years later, we pull another $20 million out. Seven years later, another $20 million. The main plan for us right now is hold everything until forever. That's what I'm holding that right now, yeah. Yeah, and just every seven years, refinance and pull the money out. On the acquisition side, it's all seller finance or just taking over payments. And I also teach my students how to buy businesses with creative finance. Oh, yeah, so like one of my students, Kay, she's in the audience. She just bought an assisted living facility. It's already netting her 150 grand a month net. And she's like, dude, I went from like being a nurse to making $1.8 million a year, like net. That's so awesome. Insane. The two problems we deal with, still not have enough money. They're yeah. broke. And then the yeah. second one is getting them in their best shape. The buying of businesses is a good addition to like the real estate stuff. And what I found was, I'm sitting over here buying businesses as well. So I'll come in, consult for equity, take over 50% of the business type of thing. But the advantage I have in that situation is that I have a team, right? I have a C-suite. Sure, you have a ton of people to plug in. Right, so I plug my C-suite in, they change the business. Now we're making 70 grand a month on a business that I didn't own four months ago. You know, that kind of awesome. stuff. But not everybody has that opportunity. Right. So it's like, okay, well, where are the low lift opportunities to make an extra 10, 12, $15,000 a month? Those are the people that are, I feel like, getting a lot of traction. I know you, Cody Sanchez, yeah. they're talking about that because that's what it's practical. Right? Cody and I are talking about building a laundromat franchise. So it gives you pressure. And then finance people that are like, I want one of those for free. Okay, great. Show us that you have the ability to show up. Show us other things in your life. We'll finance you and we'll be your partner for the first two years. You'll pay down the franchise fee. We're talking about that because I think most people also don't want more employees. They're like, how do we make money but not have any employees? Yeah. Cool. We'll appreciate you. We'll Thank you, bro. What's up, Limitless guys? Good to see you, to see you guys. Right. What's up, team? Freaking Pineda team. What's up, guys? I did your whole course. You did? It's crazy to meet you at Alec. Oh, wow. Gage, nice to meet you, man. You wanted the churro. Uh, I do want the churro. Nice to meet you, Gage. Everybody's crowding around you for a reason. I gotta know. Um, what do I do? So I own a lot of real estate, about half a billion dollars of real estate. How many units? 2,100. It was all acquired without any credit. Wow. Without any cash. Okay, I saw your video. Yeah, I'm the guy that buys everything with no, yeah, subject yeah. to and seller finance, yeah. Okay, great videos, by the way. Thank you, man. So I own a lot of real estate, and we own another eight businesses that we acquired through seller finance as well. So you had no credit? No credit. Oh my. I haven't had my credit pulled, I think, in like 20 years. That's insane. I was a contractor and I thought, you have to have a lot of money, you have to have credit, and you have to have a really good job to get a loan. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, I have 2,100 units and I've uh, never gone through a bank, uh -huh. never used my own money, and then never had my credit pulled Man, one time. That's an amazing position. So anyway, yeah, that's what I'll talk about today. I'll be talking just to you, Gage. Just to me. Yep, just to you. Get your notepad ready. Now get your notepad ready, Gage. <laughs> of course, yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Okay. And, my, and myself. Give me this one. Okay. Oh, this one's cute. Give me that mushroom one. Nice. Give me this one, too. Okay. Wait, how much are you going to get? I'm going to buy three and get one free. Okay, so choose four stickers. Give me this cutie. Okay. And then the gold one, too, next to it. Okay. I'm doing this because you deserve it. You guys out here thank building you. a business. It's cool. Money's been sent. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, girls. I appreciate you. Thank you. Much love, my man. Hey, oh, no problem, bro. Their... No problem. Man. No problem. Thank you, man. No problem. Their love. Of course. Prime Corporate. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. My favorite company. My name's Christian. What's up, Christian? How you doing, brother? I'm doing well. Proud of you guys. What's your name? Brindy. Say that again? Brindy. Brindy, that's uh, great. Interesting survey. I, yeah, it's, does money, money buy happiness? Oh. It doesn't buy sadness. Oh. Okay, so this is a really sad story at the beginning, but I promise you it gets better. So I had a brother that killed himself. He came to me and he was like, hey, I need a place to stay. And we were on the out and out. We were like having problems at the time. And I said, no, you can't stay at my house, but you can put your stuff in my garage. Like a year later, I finally had the courage to go through my garage and actually like go through my brother's stuff. As you can imagine, it was pretty challenging. We grew up together, shared bedrooms together, all that kind of stuff. And I read his journal that he left in my garage. And he said, oh man, it was amazing just to think about this. He wrote the happiest and saddest days of his life. And the, he said, my happiest days of my life is when my brother and I would go to the gas station buy potato wedges out of the plastic container. And what was even more fun are the days where we didn't have enough money to do it and we had to go figure out how, where to get change and we felt like treasure hunters and we did all these other things and so I would say that money doesn't buy happiness at all. In fact, the happiest days of my brother's life were when he had no money. And the absence of money actually made it more fun and more happy. So what do you think my answer is? Yeah, there you go. Yeah.
Does money buy happiness? No. Boom. There you go. Thank Great you. Great survey. I like it. Appreciate your opinion. The thing that I care about is I care about control and I care about the power to make opportunity. Anybody else in here know exactly what I'm talking about? Stop with the traditional real estate. Everybody's going out there and getting seven and 8% interest rates. What are you doing? That was wonderful. Thank you, man. Appreciate Thank that. You. Where can I sign up? Where do you live? I'm in North Salt Lake. Oh, you're in North Salt Lake. Jeremy's got a meetup every single, when do you do your meetup? Third Thursday of every month. The meetups are free. Okay. It's a bunch of people that are doing deals together. That's where you should start. Connect with my students and do deals with them. And you go to Slurria, right? I go to Slurria, okay. I go to all the Rias. Do you go to the, the Diarrhea too? I go to the Diarrhea and the Pizzeria. That's and the Pizzeria. <laughs> oh, dude, that's, that's a good one. Fun. I used to only go to the Rias and I was like, there's very few. Your guys' Ria that you guys do is great, but Which most- What's your favorite? None of them. None of them. They all. suck. Okay. It's a bunch of people that aren't doing deals. It's a bunch of agents. Sorry, are you an agent? No, no, no. no Thank no, God. No, no, no. So it's a bunch of agents that have been in the business for 20 years that want to make the people that are brand new have never done a deal feel like So what they do is they just go, I've been doing deals for 20 years. You don't know any better. You got to do it this way. Get your license. Meanwhile, like the people that are actually doing deals and making money yeah. and controlling and understanding how real estate works, they're not licensed. When I first started in real estate, I thought it was the opposite. I was like, oh, you got to get your license. Yeah. You gotta go be an agent. And then when you learn it, you're like, oh my gosh, I would, I would never be an agent. Here's what you should be doing is going on YouTube and maybe watch my YouTube for a little bit, but find out how investors are making money. Look that up and go, how is an investor making money on real estate? Mm -hmm. And then go, well, how do I find those? Best way to go, go to his meetup. Yeah, pull out your phone right now. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram. I'll make a post about it, I'll put a link out. I'm so glad I ran into you guys. Great, thank you. Damn, I, now I need to get a blue suit like this. This is a good looking blue suit. Oh, you're so great. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Sunday, the day after Limitless Arena. That was absolutely epic. What a day. 12 straight hours of the top speakers in the entire industry. You had David Goggins, Eric Thomas, Ed Milet, Gary V. I mean, I could go on and on, but the names, we'll put them up here. Maybe we'll do a little flash thing, but you guys saw it, obviously. 20 minutes is never enough, but uh, it was amazing to me that I was going through and talking about what we've accomplished over the last couple of years of acquiring real estate without credit, without credentials, without tax returns, any of that kind of stuff. And there's a lady in the audience, third row in, and she's like, what? Literally, I came and talked, I came just to talk to you. Every belief that you have about, I have to have credit, you don't need any of that. There's always one person that doesn't know what we teach and doesn't know what we do for a living. Then I realized the further I got into my presentation, it was like 60% of the audience had no idea that this was a possibility. I had dozens of people coming up to me after I spoke. I think we got something like 700 DMs last night that I had to clear through of people like, I had no idea this was possible. Dan Fleischman and Keaton, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to spread the word about creative finance. Right now, what I'm doing is it's Sunday morning. Eric, if you can pan here. We're about to start a meetup and we've got a taco truck here. Steve Harwood from Prime Corporate Services. Again, if you guys want an LLC, go to startwithprime.com. This is their building company that we work with and have worked with for the last three years. We're gonna do a meetup. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to raise a million dollars probably in the next two hours. I'm gonna raise about a million bucks. What am I gonna use the million dollars for? I'm buying some creative finance deals. I'm actually buying, oh, this is the reason you go to meetups. We're gonna make a video all about this. And I want you guys to maybe click here, 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 wherever the video is so you guys can go watch the video of why you should be going to a meetup and how you can raise capital when you go to them. Okay, so check this out. I just got an email a couple days ago, $9 million under contract and another $19 million we're looking at. To acquire that, we will need $1.1 million. Okay, cool. So. I'm gonna buy roughly $28 million in real estate by raising a million dollars. So the sellers are gonna seller finance 28 million and I just need to raise a million as my down payment and closing costs and all that kind of stuff. The reason you should be going to meetups and connecting with my students is so you can raise money and you can do deals. The reason we do these meetups is so we can actually raise capital. 
do deals, bring on partners, find new opportunities. There's a guy, first thing that happened this morning when we walked up here, somebody's like, Pace, I got a deal for you. Go to meetups, meet as many people as you can. We're gonna make a video all dedicated to that coming up next.